Mas já vimos em crédito retirados. Pablo já não quis atrás. Zemo na dia já não quis atrás. Não quis atrás a cara do Brasil. Já não quis atrás. Em crédito já tive lá a cara. Zé José em Zapo de Emanassos. Mago de Lagos ou Entra Hades. Mature Hades. Mejo de Aras. Bruna Aletum. Teza Agulisa no Bahamasis. Jesu que di alabaros, maligo carados, maligo carados, maligo carados. Nara guisa no gede guiso carados, sabe sobre a tira a cabeças. So welcome to students, so let's say welcome, welcome, welcome. Ah, let's see. So before I start. So he says, Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless your holy name. Thank you for this increase, Almighty Father. Thank you for this word, Almighty Father. Thank you for this bubbling of the Spirit, Almighty Father. That come forth, Almighty Father. For there is power in me, the faith of the Lord, Almighty Father. Mm -hmm. For those who take your word, Father, and take it seriously and say, This is my word, and I believe in it, Almighty Father. It shall surely work for them. Thank you, Father, for this increase. Father, as we grow in the Spirit, Almighty Father, as we grow by this word, Almighty Father. A lot of things are shifting in our lives, Almighty Father. Mm -hmm. For the power of your words is hidden in the, in the believing. Father, thank you, Lord Jesus. I bless your holy name. May the prophetic actions be upon these people. May it be upon your children, Almighty Father. May, may it be also upon myself. Mm -hmm. Father, thank you, Lord, in the, name of, in the name of the Lord Jesus. May the action for healing be present, Almighty Father. Mm -hmm. For this is your atmosphere. Thank you, Lord Jesus, and I bless your holy name. May this word be, make sense, Almighty Father, and go somewhere in their spirit in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Yes, yes. Maluzi Mikatus. Kronisha Kruse Elas. So now, the concept of life part part one. The concept uh, part two. The concept of life part two. The concept of, of life part two. Uh, so last week we talked about quite a number of things. But uh, before we, we do a, a recap, let's just read... Um, uh, okay, 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 okay. So, like we said, let me just do a quick recap. Because I think this is this is not part of it. So, um, like we discussed, uh, it's in Ezekiel that seven. Ezekiel that seven. Um, uh, Jamal de Ekazi dahas, Jose Ekani Talibro Antalagas, Zaji Tamahara Gosu Sabis. So Ezekiel 7, verse 3 now reads, And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. In other words, you have the knowledge of these things that you're asking me. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of God, the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God unto these, uh, these bones, Behold, I will, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Now, God didn't tell him to say these things. God says, prophesy to this bone that they may live. Then he began to say, Thus says the Lord unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, into you and ye shall live. This seems like some crazy broken telephone. <laughs> because now, <laughs> God says, prophesy that these bones may live again. Yeah. And immediately says, God is now is talking about the process of how they might live now. <laughs> they wonder, is Ezekiel, and he, he, he even had the guts to say, that said the Lord. <laughs> After the Lord just says, tell them to, to, to live again. Yeah. So it means God can actually give you an instruction for something. <laughs> and the way, and he can give an instruction for something, then you might say, ah, so this is a, a silly reason, or a stupid reason, or a foolish reason, <laughs> uh, whichever you choose. <laughs> it says, when God says, go and do this, talk to this person, do this, do that, do this, mm. the moment you say, how do I do it? Or to what extent do I do it? Mm. Or when can I do it? You immediately walk in, into the realm of foolishness. Why do I say this? Because you 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 are you are saying 
that somehow the, the Lord is missing information. He has not given you enough information to do what He's telling you to do. Mm-hmm. And that is a, a direct. Um, you see, this is now just for when you get to a certain level of maturity in Christianity. But if you are immature, God can actually understand that, okay, this is immaturity talking. Mm-hmm. But now, when you, when you actually go deep down in it, you understand that there's a certain level of immaturity. Like, imagine if you work for a boss. And the and the yeah an accountant and the boss says I, I I need these values and these values and and these ratios. Can you get me uh, the ratios by uh, by sundown? Then you say okay 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 I I hear what you're saying I hear what you're saying. Uh, how do I get the ratios? <laughs> what do you think is gonna happen next? You'll be fired, isn't it? <laughs> so now, why must God tolerate that kind of thing? When the boss doesn't want to hear that. You understand? So it means, when God says, do something, the next thing, or the next action, or the next movement, or the next decision that you're going to make, is to get up and do what you're supposed to do. Mm. Why? As you're doing it, the Holy Spirit shall give you something. So when God says, do it, it means He has arranged everything. All you have to do is to do it, then everything shall unfold. Mm-hmm. So the prophet Ezekiel was told, prophesy to these dry bones that they may live. Mm-hmm. In other words, create something here. Mm-hmm. Ezekiel didn't say, God, since you're the one who knows, uh, what then should I do next? How, what's the step one? Which one is the second step or which is the third step? Mm-hmm. No, he says, let me just speak. Mm-hmm. And it says, uh, I don't know if I can just quickly find this. Uh, 2 Peter, verse, uh, 2 Peter chapter number 1, verse 21, and I'll read it very fast. For, this prophet, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of men, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. You understand? For the prophecy came not in all times by the will of men. Mm. Son of man, prophesy. Isn't it? Mm. The son of man. Uh, and he said, prophesy unto these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Mm. So, so you understand this, this voice is not the one that is moving. Mm. This is a command. Amen. Mm. So how can you command and just uh, leave it like that? So it means the, the moment God commanded Ezekiel to do that, mm-hmm. there was something moving or someone moving him to do it. Mm-hmm. So it says, For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of, of men, but all, by holy men of God, spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. So as soon as Ezekiel was given the instruction, when he decided to, to do what he was told to do, he was then moved by the, by the Holy Ghost, given the information and given the power that comes come out of his mouth. Amen. So you understand, he was just moved by the Holy Ghost. But now the Holy Ghost lives in you. So what reason can you possibly come up with not to do what God said? Okay, anyway. Anyway. You know... We we'll just have a few seconds to kind of cover this thing. Mm-hmm. So we we, are, we talked about the concept of life, and you understand that Ezekiel uh, had the ability uh, to call life from somewhere. It says call life from the four winds and cause it to enter these dead bodies. Mm-hmm. And I said, why? And we decided we, we said we stopped that. The reason he did that is because Jesus, or rather God, or the Christophany, which is another story. Another day, uh, God breathed into Adam the breath of life, and that life, the life that God gives, is not the life that uh, it's not like some juice that you pour and after after a few drinks it's gone. No, that's not the life. The life He gives you is what we call Zoe, which is life giving spirit, which is that Zoe it means self generating life. It's like when you uh, imagine instead of uh, what you call, uh, imagine God is Esco. Just imagine. This <laughs> is something to kind of work with. And then he comes and says, No, with all this money, we won't supply you with the constant electricity. Mm. 
Because when the supply finishes, uh, understand it's just a company. God's supply does not finish. Mm. God is, he thinks ahead. He's an investor. So you understand that. So he would come and say, now instead of me supplying you with electricity, I'm going to give you a way to get off the grid. Solar panels, all this, the generator and everything. So you're now making, so electricity is just circulating in your whole yard as a system. So now you're on your own. Same thing with the life of God. When he gives you, he doesn't say, he doesn't have to keep uh, breathing like, now find that giving you, it should last you for about two weeks, then you should come uh, call upon me. So now imagine when you are praying and say, God, Lord, give me life. That, that is never, that's a prayer that is never, one of the prayers that will never be answered. Mm-hmm. Why? Because it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's already been answered. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. So you can't say, God, can I have life? Or, or, or any of that. Because the life you've been given. Mm-hmm. So now we, we talked about how Ezekiel called the, the life from, from, from the four winds mm-hmm. that they may enter the body and how and where the life came from and all that. Mm-hmm. So now here, oh, this is part two now. We're going to a little bit deeper, mm-hmm. explain me a few more things. And it says, uh, let's go to First John chapter number one, verse one. Manu de prandus ibra anusus, zuse kedamu de pronusu, the antaglio of sobra ashetas. Man to the gears. And I'll read. First John chapter number one, verse one, and I'll read. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and show unto you that eternal life which was with the Father and was manifested unto us. I want to understand what, what uh, John is saying. John is saying here that which was from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Says, For in the, in the beginning was the word. Mm-hmm. So that which is from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Which we have heard. We have heard about in the beginning was the word, the word was God, the word was God. Mm-hmm. And that the, the Lord, his name is, high, is exalted above every name. Mm-hmm. And, but his word is above his name. So mm-hmm. that is from the beginning. The God is from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Which we have heard. Which we have seen with our eyes. Mm-hmm. In other words, we have seen him. Mm-hmm. We saw this. We didn't just hear or know about it. We saw this. Mm-hmm. With our own eyes. Which we have looked upon, and we looked upon, and our hands have handled all oh, the word of life. You understand the way the way he's writing here. He's talking about uh, the information he had, mm-hmm. the information he knew about, mm-hmm. or which, which which is known. Then he had, then he seen. Mm-hmm. So he moves from information and history into experience mm-hmm. when he's talking about it. Mm. Now we do not just only know about it from the beginning or see, we also touched and handled. And he calls this thing that he has handled and which was from the beginning of the word of life. Mm. For the life was man. Oh, now you see. This is the word of life. You think the word is the one that is the word that gives life. Mm. That's what it sounds like. Mm. Until you go to verse 2, it says, For the for the life was manifested, mm. and we have seen it. Mm-hmm. And bear witness and show unto you that eternal life mm-hmm. which was with the Father and was manifested unto us. What was with the Father? In the beginning was the word. Mm-hmm. So the word of life is so you can actually say of life, mm-hmm. of the word, mm-hmm. which is the word of life. Mm-hmm. In the same. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. If I say Bansi of Mahun, it doesn't mean that uh, <laughs> you understand mm. Bansi and Mahun is, is a different person, it's not uh, it's one person. If I say Bansi of Mahun, that's what I'm talking about. You understand? Yes. For those who don't know, Mahun is my, is my last name. <laughs> it's my same name. Mm. So when you say the word of life, mm. it's the same thing. Mm. Why? Then, then it says, for the life was manifested and we have seen it. So, the, <sighs> John is saying, you know, what I'm about to tell you is a little bit crazy. Mm. So in a sense, you remember the, the, the way which, uh, which was at the beginning, which was God, and which turned out to be God. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have heard about it. The prophets have prophesied and they have moved and crazy things have happened by the same way. Mm-hmm. And funny thing is, when we were walking, 
with this with a certain man mm. who we knew as the prophet and by his sayings we knew him as the son of God, but we were not really you know. <laughs> <laughs> but what it turns out is the Holy Spirit has come upon us with our in our years of ministry. I have realized one thing that that which we have seen, which we have heard, which we have looked upon, which we have participated in, experienced and lived in, and we, we called him master. What that was actually is the is life. Mm-hmm. No, it's not like what he does is life. Life in itself, the material used to make life, mm-hmm. that's the one we are interacting with. Mm-hmm. I shook hands with the life. Mm-hmm. I talked to life. Mm-hmm. I moved around with life. Mm-hmm. He, his name was Jesus, yeah. but if you look for other, if you if you were to look in, in his birth certificate as well, you will find another name written life. Mm. The second, the third name, resurrection. Mm. The other name, truth. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So he says, "This I'm not telling you that there's, there's, there's such thing as a word of life. Mm. I'm not saying that. Mm. I'm not saying the person who who, who we were with." Talked about life and gave us life. Mm. No, we talked to life. Mm. Imagine when you when you you move around and you look around and you see one specific individual. Mm. Then you say, Master, can you tell us about uh, the resurrection? Mm. Then it turns to you and says, I am the resurrection. Mm. Immediately you know that they are talking to resurrection. Mm. So all you need from resurrection is for him to come and just uh, show his methods <laughs> for us yeah. so that we may come back to life. Yes. So you understand? Uh, I'm not sure if it's Martha or Mary. I don't know. Oh, we well, both we were told. I am the resurrection. Mm-hmm. In other words, I don't bring the resurrection. I don't command the resurrection. Mm-hmm. I'm that thing that happens. Then so, 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 so someone can come. Mm-hmm. It says, I come that they may have life and life in abundance. Mm-hmm. Sure. In other words, I come that they may have me and me in abundance. Sure. Mm-hmm. So now just imagine people who say, No, God, you, you just deal with him on Sunday and you just deal with him. Maybe some other. Uh, day or something then the rest of the of the week is for just for the world when you just enjoy yourself and, and forget about it. you know when you talk to someone and you know that and they know that you're messing them up in argument it's that saying that let's leave this let's leave God out of this <laughs> because they they're kind of saying that uh, when you introduce God my my I, my I, my stupid ideology is destroyed <laughs> so now let's not in, introduce God mm. what they have no idea is mm. he is the life Mm-hmm. You know what causes you not to go to hell? Mm-hmm. What causes you to live an exceptional life? What causes you to live something else different? Mm-hmm. A certain um, experience, experience of divinity mm-hmm. is Him who we have seen. That's what John is saying. Mm-hmm. So the same thing. So now just imagine what God didn't say when you become a Christian. You need to do this and that and that and that and step one and step two mm-hmm. and step three. Then after a good uh, number of time, then you, you become this. Then uh, we graduate. We give you more badges and, and, and go somewhere. Imagine God says, "I'm gonna give you one thing, mm-hmm. but one thing that one thing is everything in everything. Mm-hmm. It's the birth of everything mm-hmm. and the end of everything. Mm-hmm. Understand?" Mm-hmm. He is the answer to what uh, what should I do? Mm-hmm. He is the answer to where should I go? Mm-hmm. Sure. He is the answer is where am I and what am I need to live for? Mm-hmm. And it's just one. Mm-hmm. And it says he himself, I'm giving you Jesus. Mm-hmm. And if you understand, says he, he took up the form of a servant. Mm-hmm. He humbled himself even unto death. Mm-hmm. Meaning that God he was Jesus. Mm-hmm. This God was in Christ. Reconciling the world around himself. Mm-hmm. You see, some people, those, okay, for those people who, who don't think Jesus is, is, uh, is uh, uh, the Lord himself, uh, I don't know which Bible they have been dealing with mm-hmm. for a while. Mm-hmm. He says, God was in Christ. Mm-hmm. like, oh, so God is not in Christ. Christ is mm-hmm. someone else. Mm-hmm. You see? That's what the verse sounds like. Mm-hmm. God was in Christ. Like, oh, sorry, I think God is someone else, Christ is someone else. Mm-hmm. Because for you, how can someone be himself? Mm-hmm. You know what That's uh, the logic of thinking of, of humanity. Mm-hmm. So this God was, was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. Oh, mm-hmm. what happened now? <laughs> God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. Mm-hmm. So God was in himself, reconciling the world unto himself. Sure. So God was busy on the cross. 
mm-hmm. dealing with the sins of the world, mm-hmm. dealing with everything. Was also dealing with people who are busy beating him and throwing him and yelling and all this, mm-hmm. messing up his constitution. Mm-hmm. Whereas God is the most <laughs> patient person ever. Let's just imagine you are busy dealing with, you know yourself. Like, <laughs> imagine, uh, let's say you want to buy someone a gift or something. Mm-hmm. Then you start asking them a few questions or so, some few things or, so, or you want to surprise them when you're just talking to them and all that. Mm-hmm. Then they mess you up like, ah, what is it? <laughs> I, was, I was about to even get you a gift, but look at, look at how you behave. <laughs> God didn't do that. God was like, imagine God says, ah, well, the same people are actually beating me, giving me vinegar like this. Mm-hmm. But I'm supposed to save you who, who's calling me false. Mm-hmm. God is like, no, no, that's not how it is, that's not how it is. Mm-hmm. But you understand, John is saying, when you are looking at life, like you said, there's a difference between life and existence. Mm-hmm. When you're dealing with existence, mm-hmm. you're dealing with someone who you can actually go to evangelize to. Mm-hmm. Because that person is in life. Mm-hmm. And you also, uh, and I'll repeat this one again, <laughs> I think we actually have to kind of put this uh, in some, uh, some what you call, uh, we'll share this video on its own. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll repeat this one again. <laughs> If you are saying you are marrying or you are dating someone who is not a Christian, mm. you are one of uh, I have to I have to use my happy language. <laughs> uh, you are deceiving yourself. Mm. But that person can be used by the devil at any time. Mm. Why he is an empty person? Mm. So you, you can live. You, you are, by according to scripture, you are supposed to expect anything. Mm. Mm. If he kills you, it was expected. <laughs> if he stops loving you, it was expected. Mm. If he doesn't provide for the family, it was expected. Mm. Why he is he's existing, he's not living. Mm. He's in existence. Sure. That, that, that's the, it's the same as keep, keeping a pet lion or a pet tiger. If it ends up eating your, chi- your children, don't be, don't cry. <laughs> it's, it, 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 was, it was clear that it's, it's for the world. Mm-hmm. It needs something more. Yes. You know it needs the violence. It needs, it needs that kind of thing. Yes. It recognizes that, you know, but uh, that's just talking about uh, with earthly standards. Mm-hmm. But if we're talking about uh, the Christ life, uh, you can keep anything, mm-hmm. which is a story for another day. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is, sometimes some bad things people complain about and busy move around, marching about. It's actually their own doing. Honestly, mm-hmm. it's their own doing. And. And when you say it like this, people are like, ah, no, yeah, yeah, okay, you're not sensitive. No, no, there's no, nothing to be sensitive about. You made it someone who was existing, and now the devil found a way to get to you. Mm-hmm. Because you are becoming too much of a Christian. So now he has someone mm-hmm. to mess you up with. Mm-hmm. And that's actually a trap mm-hmm. for most of the women. Because the, the, well, what happens with that, we'll, I think we will discuss it in, in, uh, in great length at the time. When you marry that uh, existing fellow, <laughs> and he starts beating you and, 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 and doing whatever he, he pleases to do, mm. uh, and you start marching against him and start uh, talking back to him and all that, mm. uh, God has a shame of something he has to give to you as well. <laughs> Why? Because you fell out of your role of submission, which is what the devil wanted. Mm. So now the guy is wrong. Mm. And you try to protest and stand against him, you are also now wrong. Mm. So now, just you see now the dangers of mm. not knowing uh, the issue. Of, like, ah, can I just marry someone? Paul says, if you marry someone who's not saved, a Christian, mm. and he's ple- I mean, the person is pleasing to stay with, to live with, mm. you may continue with the person. Mm. The key word is pleasing. You understand? Mm. So, meaning that the person can be pleasing or unpleasing. You understand? So you can live with an existing person who's unpleasant, or who then turns unpleasant because it's an empty shell. Mm. So if he says he, he wears the sun in his life. Mm. Sure. Hey. It's not like if you have uh, five dollars, now you have McDonald's. <laughs> no, the five dollars is McDonald's. Sure. You understand? Mm. So it's, uh, it, that's the understanding of it. Mm. So if he wears the, uh, the sun in his life, no, no. He's not saying, if you have the sun, oh, then you have life. Mm-hmm. No, no, if you have the sun, you, what you actually have is life. Mm-hmm. So when you have the sun, you have life. Mm-hmm. Because the sun is the life. Mm-hmm. So when you actually walk into heaven one day and see Jesus and say, hello, say, you're, you're, you're actually greeting life. Mm-hmm. 
That's when you can actually say, no, I now know what life looks like. <laughs> you know? There's an ability to actually see what life looks like. Do you know what life looks like? Sure. People don't know what life looks like, that's because they have never seen the God. Sure. So they don't know what God looks like, they don't know what life looks like. Is it a problem? Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see, uh, let's go to the book of Revelation. It's not Revelations, it's Revelation. Mm. So I just wanted to put that aside. I'm not using the English of Shatter status. Uh, So, uh, verse number 10, now read, I was in the spirit on the day, on the Lord's day, and heard behind, behind me a great voice. Mm -hmm. And there's a trumpet, yes. Revelation uh, 1, verse 10. Okay. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, and heard behind me a great voice, as of a trumpet. Mm -hmm. Imagine you hear a trumpet, then you hear words. <laughs> <laughs> the voice is the trumpet, you know what Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And uh, what thou seest, write in a book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, in Ephesus, and say, you know, that's the story for another day. Mm -hmm. So his introduction is here, even here he says, uh, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, mm -hmm. say the Lord, which is and which was. And which is to come, the Almighty. This is his name. Imagine you meet someone, they say, oh, uh, What's up? How is it going? They're like, I don't know it's going good, it's going good. So, uh, so, so, who are you saying? Like, What's your name? Like, My name is Matrai. And how about you? I'm the author of the big action. That's what Jesus is doing. It's not like, it's not like uh, don't worry, it's a certain mighty thing we can use mm. to highly exalt myself. Or, one of those things. No, no. What is it? What is saying that uh, when I created things, mm. what I called end is me. Mm. Sure. What I called beginning is me. Mm. And everything I've created within the time space of me. Mm. You mm. So his measurement of time is himself. Sure. <laughs> so when he says I'm I'm giving I need to create things so that people can be survive. I need to create time. I need to create life. I need to create uh, uh, righteousness and all these standards. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to tell you a few things. Uh, he did not exactly create them. Mm -hmm. But because those were him. You understand? Mm -hmm. By definition, it's called the uncreated creator. Mm -hmm. So if he has, if he's uncreated, it means life was never created. Sure. Mm -hmm. Because we never hear it. He says, for God created this in Adam and Eve. Mm. He created, he formed the body. Mm. Then he created the spirit. Mm. But then, what the, where was the spirit now? After the body was formed, we talked about it last week. It's Genesis, I think, 2. If you have time, I'll we'll go and check it out. Uh, he says, Adam was formed, isn't it? Then God breathed into the, the, into the body. Mm. Then the body was a slime there. Then when he breathed, that's where Adam was coming from. Mm -hmm. sure. So now, imagine after creation, after making something, then your storage space is in your nostrils. <laughs> where you just breathe someone in like this. Mm -hmm. So it means the material Adam has made, which is everyone, mm -hmm. the material which you made, you know, not the physical, the spiritual material, is God himself. Sure. Okay. So this is a given, when Adam uh, a good life. You understand now, now people, that's why you can't replicate life mm -hmm. on your own because life is actually God. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you, when uh, Adam received life, he received God, mm -hmm. a piece of God, because the material was formed by God, mm -hmm. was was formed of God. Mm -hmm. So you understand? He says, "For God lives in life that in in a life that no man can approach." That 
for God lives in the light that no man can approach. Ah, uh, let's see, man, who is the English? Means who the English has a sacrifice. So this is a uh, God is light, isn't it? Amen. Mm. Yet he lives in the light that no man can approach. Mm. So God lives in Himself. Sure. That's how He lives. That's how He was. That's how He will be. That's how He will end up in. That's how He started. Mm. <laughs> Why? So He says. Uh, so how how we know that the, one of the indicators that we know that uh, everything was created in Him, in Him is the barriers and and uh, the foundations and everything. Because the foundation of everything is the word. Mm. And in the beginning was the okay, now you know who's the foundation. Mm. So Jesus, when he says I am the foundation, I'm the, when he says the foundation is Christ, mm. what you build there upon is the is, 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 is your experience and all everything that you have learned in, in your walk with God. Mm. But Christ is the foundation of the church. Mm. He's not saying Jesus uh, to, is, the the one of the Paul is not, is not saying when he's preaching. To just imagine a building. <laughs> The foundation system. You remember what they put before? So the good does not fall. That's Jesus. He's not saying that. Uh, he's not uh, uh, engaging you into property lectures or anything like that. Mm. He's saying the literal foundation. Mm. The literal. The God is very literal. Mm. To you, it's a metaphor. To him, it's um, serious. Mm. <laughs> you understand? Mm. I say people will be like, ah, ah. Uh, when Jesus walked on the water and he, he saw no boat and, and, and all that. Mm. Then he saw the disciples are fouled. Then he walked on the water to meet them. Mm. People were like, hey, so in life, what do we know? What we learn is we have to walk on your problems. And, no, 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 you have to walk on the water. It's not a metaphor. For so what he was serious mm. when he walked on the water. Mm. Like I went, uh, so see, Moses stretched out his hands mm. and uh, the sea divided. Mm. So you have to be able, you, see, you have to be strong enough. To stretch your head over your course. <laughs> no, 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 say. <laughs> that's, not, that's not the idea. God is saying, no, this is an example of the things that you can do. Sure. You understand? This is an example of the things. So, this man, you understand, Moses, when he split the Red Sea, no one has ever done it. Mm-hmm. Even he never knew that it could be possible. Yeah. He was right there. God says, uh, God saying, God, so now what's your plan? God says, no, why are you even asking about plans? <laughs> Just keep going forward mm-hmm. much. Stretch your stuff like this mm-hmm. and divide the sea. Mm-hmm. Might, now you are just thinking, ah, it's a wonderful story. Moses was very powerful. What you don't know is, for you to understand the, 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 the magnitude of this miracle, mm-hmm. go by the beach and just look at the sea like this. <laughs> then God says, uh, now lift up something and do this. And you see the water spawn, you're like, I don't, I don't even try it. God, I won't even try it. Sure. Then, now, that's a, that, in, that information, mm. if you, you know, you know, those people who just talk about men of God and just have that, all that strength and the, the guts to talk nonsense, all the nonsense upon nonsense, and just keep, mm. like, I don't know, I know better, I, this is what we're told, you know, da 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 it's fine. Read uh, Moses. Then go to the to, to a sea and just imagine it opening just because someone did this. You 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 be the most humble person if you listen to the weight. If you relax and actually play things back and actually understand, you'll be the most humble person ever. Mm. But the reason you have this pride to stand up and say no, this one is wrong, this one is right, is because you have no idea. How wrong you are. Mm. You have no idea that there's something that you don't have. There's some there's some criteria. There's this class you have skipped. You know, a child, it's so easy for a child to for a, maybe a five year old, a three year old, mm. to call your father by their first name. Mm. But you won't even try. Sure. Why? Because you know as soon as you're done. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I see parents, like kids, will be, they'll, they'll be like, ah, no, this name. Or just say party or something like that. The father will be like, ah, that's my child. Now you say it, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, so, so you, you understand that dynamic. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the confidence that is misplaced. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. The confidence that is misplaced. Mm-hmm. So you understand the concept of life. The concept of life. Majute and Grusandigas. Pramuji and Tarumi There's an interesting scripture I would love to actually show you. 
Let's go to Matthew 22. Matthew 22, Matthew 22, Matthew 22. Parusen ich dazu durch. Parusen mit dieser Drachlöse er Kulpa an die Sakti Uwe er Kramis. Parusen mit des Rabuse. Vers 37. Matthew 22, Vers 32, 32, 32. Uh, let's see, Majute Olas, let's just see here. Matthew 27. Ah, ah, ah. Matthew, ah, what is it? Ah, yeah, Matthew 20. I said 27. 22. 22. I said 22. Yeah, 22. Yes. So it's Matthew 22, verse 32. And I'll read I am the God of Abraham, the, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. God, God, is not the God of the dead, mm. but of the living. Mm. And when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at this doctrine. Mm. <laughs> this one is like difficult. <laughs> like, just imagine you're hearing this music. Mm. <laughs> this, this one is now... This one is a, is a little bit different. You know? mm. You know, there are some preachings where you hear even about just children like, hey, why, why? <laughs> How? You're like, oh, I'm not going to believe this one. Mm. You know, and there's some message there like, hey, listen, how do I believe this one? How do I start? Yeah. You, know, you know, there are some activities that you see at the middle of her doing, mm. and you feel like you're never going to get them. Like, no, no, I don't, I don't think God is part of it. You know, when you see some of the crazy things happening, like, no, I don't think God is happy with, mm. with my life. I, oh, what I'm doing is, no, nah, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to uh, Revelation 20, verse 12. And I'll read. And I saw the dead, small, great, stand before God, like we established. Mm. I, and I saw the dead, Small and great stand before God. So the dead is when I believe to stand before God. Sure. One. Mm. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. Mm. Oh, so death can be can be also killed. Mm. <laughs> I don't know for those who, who kind of got it last week. Who kind of understand a few things. Mm. He said, I saw death. And hell being cast being cast in the lake of fire. No, he had no idea that hell, hell is its own punishment. Right? Sure. Hell is going to be punished. So now just imagine. This is I saw the dead standing before God. And it says, I am I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. God is not the, the God of the dead, but of the living. Just saying, you know Abraham, you know Jacob, you know Isaac, those people never really died. Sure. So it means everyone in Christ, none of them have died. Mm. They, they just fell asleep. Mm. Sure. Everyone who died in Christ has not has not died. Mm. According to you, according to you, they are gone. What that tells us. These people have an ability to come back mm -hmm. whenever they came. Sure. Because if you are asleep, you have an ability to wake up. Mm -hmm. But if you are dead, you are gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the next thing you are going to see is standing, is standing in front of the master. Mm -hmm. You just imagine standing in front of God and you know that your life wasn't working. Mm -hmm. Sure. It's not something you would hope for. Mm -hmm. So it says, the dead shall rise first. And we that are alive shall and remain shall be caught up with him to meet the Lord in the end. Mm -hmm. He says, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Mm -hmm. Mean the dead in the devil shall remain there. Sure. The dead in, in, uh, in Allah <laughs> shall remain dead. Mm -hmm. The dead in Buddha shall remain there. Sure. But the dead in Christ shall rise again. Mm -hmm. And we that are alive and remain shall be caught up with him. That's the rapture of the church. Mm -hmm. So the dead in Christ shall rise because they were sleeping in the first place. Mm -hmm. Meaning they'll be coming from wherever they were, they were waking up into the new body mm -hmm. and rising and ascending 
uh, and being raptured to meet the Lord there. Mm -hmm. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. So it means Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are not dead. No. According to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now you understand, like, but that's what it says that in the multitude heard this and they were astonished to hear this doctrine. Because you see now, what the, what made them astonished is the is uh gives an indication of what kind of things he was talking about. Mm -hmm. Because if I say, uh, do you know the God is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Uh, what astonishment can actually come upon you? Astonishment is a great amazement. Hey, what, kind of, what kind of message is this? Mm -hmm. How can you be amazed that God, the God of Israel, is the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and Jacob? How is that amazing? What, they, what astonished them is that these men, which I mentioned, are actually alive. Sure. So if we have pe people who are, who, are, who are guaranteed that everyone in the world knows that they are in heaven, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, sure. those are, that, that's a guarantee. You know that's why in heaven. You're going to meet these guys in heaven. Mm -hmm. These are people who are sure are in heaven. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's what Jesus Jesus is saying that these people are not dead. Mm -hmm. You know, finishes mm -hmm. You know, one day was moving like this. Then the next day he was not there. Mm. You understand that? Uh, uh, yeah, it's a topic for another day. It's a topic for another day. Jamure que zamo da asagis. Beijo na graça de que a angla vida salas. Zima jute bradu gila samo hoste cre. Zita baba humbis. So now he says, uh, We were dead in our trespasses, mm -hmm. but we are alive in Christ. Mm -hmm. We were dead in our trespasses, but we were alive in Christ. Mm -hmm. we? So now, what, what this means is, when you are living in sin, in your life, pleasures, and in, if you find yourself enjoying yourself too much, mm -hmm. and there's no spirituality, you are most likely dying or dead. Mm -hmm. And what I've noticed, Jamuni, uh, In the morning, <laughs> when I was working, mm. uh, I heard something. Let's see, how can I say? The things which are so amazing in the world, mm. which people are busy with, are not amazing mm. at all. No, are they lovable or are they enjoyable? The reason that lifestyle is nice, that culture which now which is now uh, been given to all the youth from America, mm -hmm. all that uh, you know, uh, you know these things. You don't need to mm -hmm. go deep on that. Mm -hmm. All that lifestyle, all this fashion, all this evil thing that people say form their whole life around. Mm -hmm. That is not actually enjoyable, nor is it nice. Mm -hmm. The reason it is nice or it is enjoyable, or well, that someone can actually stick to that lifestyle and keep living on and on and on and on and on, it is because it's a trap. Mm -hmm. the, so it was if you put junk on a mouse trap, you will never catch a mouse in your life. Mm -hmm. For you to be able to catch a mouse, you have to put cheese, peanut butter, mm -hmm. all those things. Mm -hmm. So now if you analyze peanut butter and cheese mm -hmm. from the red perspective, oh my goodness, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so that kind of music you think you are enjoying, mm -hmm. that you play in your own time, mm -hmm. absorbing that kind of junk, mm -hmm. which makes you feel good, uh, all that misery and uh, all those things you, that those guys sing. Mm -hmm. That's actually something that your spirit does not like or enjoy. Mm -hmm. But the reason you enjoy it is because it's a trap. Mm -hmm. That is a trap the devil uses to ride himself into your life, mm -hmm. to get into your life. Mm -hmm. And the reason he wants to come into your life is because he wants to destroy others using you. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Haven't you ever seen a, a certain people, a group of people, mm -hmm. that as soon as they mess you up or dismiss, it doesn't work out anymore. Mm. I don't say too much. As soon as it doesn't work out anymore, 
Then the first time to time mess you up. Mm-hmm. Why? Because they've really, they leave this area. Mm-hmm. Then they're now a free agent. Mm-hmm. But they're the closest to you, according to the devil. Mm-hmm. And that lifestyle that they've chosen has opened doors to the devil. Mm-hmm. So it's like a... So think of it uh, this way. You are lamb, isn't it? Mm-hmm. The lifestyle you choose is the flag of a certain country. Let's say you, you, you like Britain. Let's say, yeah, like for example, our African countries, South Africa. Uh, let me give South Africa a safer example. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's one of the, it's more clean. And then uh, during this pandemic, if there's any African country that followed everything to the T, or even worse, mm. is the SA. Mm. There's no African country that follow the regulations as much as Africa. Mm. Why? They have a certain great desire mm. to be part of the Western culture. Mm. So it's easy for them to be fooled. Sure. But they have a certain desire that they want to be there. Mm. So now yeah, imagine you as that uh, idiot liking that kind of lifestyle. Mm. What you do is you are taking the Western flags, mm. the United Union, the UN, the British uh, flags and put them in parts of South Africa. Sure. So that becomes a territory owned by the Queen, territory owned by the Queen, territory owned by the Queen. Mm. So the more you live that kind of lifestyle, the more you give rights for Satan to prevail in your life sure. and to take over you and colonize you completely. Why you have been absorbed into his system and you have allowed his flags. You see, when you put the flag, it means you have colonized that the whole area. Mm-hmm. So you're putting, the, you're actually putting the flag for the devil himself. So you now know that that the, the, that side of jurisdiction was that that's my territory action. Mm-hmm. He said, uh, "No one shall eat or, or buy by yourself mm-hmm. unless they have the mark of the beast." Mm-hmm. What that means is, uh, well, they, it is a mark, but the way uh, mark. Then he talks about a stem mm. that you, have, you know, when you stem something, mm. or, or if you look at an iPhone, there's an, there's an apple thing at the end. Mm. An apple. That's how you know it's an iPhone. Mm. Well, of course, you can know other things, but you know, the, the generals who kind of figure out that like, if, it's, if it drops like this, mm. uh, that's an iPhone. No, 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 not going that way. Mm. If someone just uh, puts the phone like this, or maybe it's here. Yawns like this, like, ah. mm-hmm. and you see the apple logo like ah, that person is like mm-hmm. So now it's the same thing with the mother of the beast. Mm-hmm. So you have that logo of Satan on you as a stem like that. So a- anywhere you go, we just go oh, that's mm-hmm. of the devil. Oh, that's of the devil. That's of the devil. That's mm-hmm. of the devil. Why do you think the devil likes statues anyway? Mm-hmm. He's stamping on you. He's stamping on you. Mm-hmm. If you if you understand Satanism and you know, going to all those things, there's a lot of symbolism and stamps and, and all these tattoos and trying to figure out something. Why he's trying to group his own bunch and say these are mine. Then now going to all the world and evangelize. Now you hear all the songs, all the songs they and they are taking more people in and you understand there are just imagine there are some people who have formed their lives around that music. That American culture, mm. that's the music they, they listen to, mm. the pictures they take, mm. the things they, they, they enjoy. Mm. So now, just imagine, for you to be able to go for that peanut butter on the mouse trail is because you're a mouse. Mm. The moment you're an alligator, you'll be like, no, no, I, I think that's not for me. Mm. It's for that guy. <laughs> you understand? Mm. So now, just imagine. It's only nice mm. because it's a trap. Mm. But if it was a nice, you do not be with the trap. Mm. So what the devil does, he gives you, he finds out, or he researches. He's a, he's, a, he's a very good researcher. He researches everything about your life and how you operate. And finds out rather your existence. Because life is a different, <laughs> a different meaning. You understand? Yes. So now just imagine. It says... He that is son, he that is the son, his life. He that is not the son, has no life. In other words, he that is the son, has the life of God. 
Because even the son is alive. He that is life is life. So it's just like if you don't have money, you don't have money. If you have money, you have money. So if he that is the son is life. He that, he that does not have the son is no life. So if you have no money, you have no money. If you have money, you have money. So if you have the son of God, you have life. If you have life, you have life. If you don't have life, you don't have life. That's what I'm saying. So he that is the son is life. He that does not have the son does not have life. So he that is the son has the son. He that does so it's like he that is the son is, is the son. Mm. He that does not have the son, he doesn't have the son. So he that is the son is life. He that is life is life. Mm. He that is life is life. He that does not have life. So if you're dead, you're dead. If you're alive, you're alive. That's what it's saying. So it's not like if you have the son, no, then you get life. No, no. You have the son. So it's, it's simple. So Jesus, the resurrection, is the way, the truth, and the life. So you wonder, like, Jesus, what's the way? How do I live my How do I live my life? How, what, what, what way do I use? Jesus, I'm the way. So you you use me as the way. Sure. So I like what? Do you, how do I know which is the truth? I, I am the truth. Mm. Understand? I am the reality. I am the true existence. Mm. So yeah, oh, when the sickness, what you're experiencing is a fake reality. Mm. That is matured in you, mm. so you can see it. Imagine, you, you know, people who actually hallucinate, who have mental problems, mm. they actually see those things mm. physically. Mm. Why? That issue is mature, great in them. Mm. Now, that's how you see great men of God says, I don't see what you're saying. Mm. I like him, what, what um, great, great men of God, when he was during his healing session, says, when he got to a person who was. Uh, we are tormented by cancer. Crazy things happen. Mm. This person was very sick. Mm. Then the Lord ministered to him saying, this person is, uh, is no cancer. Sure. There's no disease. Mm. Okay. So, you see now, this, that disease, the mirage, the thing which is not reality, has matured to the extent that it has an ability to kill you. Sure. So now just imagine, the reason you think you don't have money, the reason you think you don't... Uh, now I'm talking to Christians, if you're not a Christian, you have to, you have to raise your hands for the sick Jesus. <laughs> then you apply to this message, <laughs> this part. <laughs> so now if you're a Christian and you, th- and you... The reason you believe you are broke, you believe you don't have uh, healing, or divine love. You believe that uh, life can be up and down, all this. Mm. You believe that things can just mess you up. You don't understand. Things are just difficult for you. Mm. It's because you have believed it so. Mm. Sure. So your own belief system is working against you over time. So you are sitting in your room and you, as your belief system works on you uh, to uh, the greatest of its ability. <laughs> so not just imagine your faith is so strong that you can actually feel the tangible poverty in your house. Mm. Your faith is so strong, you know that you don't understand school. Mm. You don't you just don't get it. <laughs> That's how strong your faith is. Mm. Your faith is so strong. After you declare the semester is going to be very difficult, it becomes as difficult as, as possible. That's how strong your faith is. Mm. When you became a Christian, yes, we have been dealt a measure of faith. Mm. So now, as soon as you get, imagine I give you money 10,000 US. Right now, you have no money, nothing, you're asking for money, I give you 10,000 US. Then you go and uh, you subscribe to Netflix, uh, you buy TVs and decoders and all those things, you know, and just keep them in your house and you start starving. <laughs> Who's fault really is it? You see, it's not like you didn't have the money, but stupidity was prevailing. <laughs> the stupidity prevails more than the logic. So the, that's the reason. That the reason you so the Bible is not life. The Lord Jesus is life. So when you receive, when you read the Bible, you're talking about a testament of Christ. So you're talking about. Uh, let's imagine uh, God is God is like. Uh, by the time you get to heaven, mm. 
you must know how things were operating on him sure. mm-hmm. from the fundamental aspects of it. Mm-hmm. And he and his um his main thing that he gave us to learn those things is is in a book. Mm-hmm. That's he's like no no, all this information, these six, six books, I I think yeah, pretty much covers it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you get this, uh, you know now you now know how to do crazy things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So not just money, testaments mm-hmm. uh, are marked mm-hmm. in the Bible. Mm-hmm. So you see this the book of Matthew, mm-hmm. the book of John, mm-hmm. the book of Revelation, mm-hmm. the book of Daniel, mm-hmm. all these are testaments. Mm-hmm. So it's the is the word of God, the manifestation of God, mm-hmm. the workings of God, mm-hmm. the understanding of God, the makings of God, mm-hmm. according to Daniel. Mm-hmm. The the work of Jesus, according to Matthew. Mm-hmm. Uh, because of time, I, I won't show you this. <laughs> if you if you like, if you go nicely and look in the King James version, if you go and look in the King James version, you understand that Luke says. And Jesus said this to the apostles, and he called the apostles. Mm. Why was Luke saying apostles? Because Luke is a disciple of Paul. Mm. And by the time he understood the revelation of Jesus, he was writing these things, he already esteemed them as apostles. Sure. But Matthew is a part of the apostles. <laughs> so this is the, and the disciples. Mm. But, but Luke says, and the apostles were told. Yes. Mm. So, so this is the gospel of Jesus according to Luke. Mm. So right now, the, this is the concept of the, uh, the concept of life according to Matthew. Mm. Of course, you understand. Mm. So when you preach to someone in the streets, or whenever, whenever you talk to someone, by the way, that's the gospel according to start. Mm. The gospel according to search. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. So this information, even if you go to Genesis, this is the gospel according to Moses. Mm. This is in the reading of Moses. So that's the gospel of Moses. Sure. So now, if you speak nonsense all the time, that's the gospel of you. <laughs> if death comes out of your mouth constantly, that's the gospel of death. Mm. That is upon your lips and is, is prevailing. You understand that there was a prophet, Jeremiah, they said that we don't want to, don't, please don't call this one. <laughs> His gospel is destruction. Sure. That's the Lord according to Jeremiah. Mm. So, so, so God, so John says, uh, what uh, David says, <laughs> let, me, let me go to David, because the John part is actually long, I'm trying to refresh on that part. Mm-hmm. David says, who is man that thou visit him? Mm-hmm. That thou lovest him? Mm-hmm. David's like, what man of love? This is crazy. Mm-hmm. You understand? Up to the point that you, you can, if you if you understand Sadamism Saddam, and don't understand the peace. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what they define as love is insanity. Sure. Because they define love as insanity because they're saying the love of God and the, and the people who are who is loving is it doesn't make sense. So it's insane. Mm-hmm. It's insane. Mm-hmm. So God is not made that Jesus is made about you. Sure. I've got it written. Yeah. David is like, yeah, I, you know, I, I, I'm lost for words. Ooh. David was, was, was just understanding what one day he was moving in his palace and he just understanding a few things. Then he got to realize, hey, who, who is made really? <laughs> Imagine if, if, if you, if, uh, <laughs> Imagine if Elon Musk just walks into a, into an area. He walks up to you. He's just saying, "Ah, what's up? How is it? How is it?" And he shakes you, shakes you, and uh, he's now he says, ah, "Let's go, let's go, let's go." Let's do it. Yeah, moving around the whole day at an event. Everyone mm-hmm. just sees you with Elon Musk. You know what? The next question: Who, who, who's this guy? Really? <laughs> Why him? Mm-hmm. What is he about? Mm-hmm. I have a better sin than this one. Mm-hmm. But why? So according to David, mm-hmm. it's like, what, what is man? Mm-hmm. If I let's look at let's look at it in a What is man really? Mm-hmm. Why would God love the person like this? Mm-hmm. Why would God take time to actually come on here and visit this person? Mm-hmm. Uh, so immediately. You understand that friends have no time for you and not your friends. 
Anyway, so now, so David saying, Who is this one? Who is this one? That, that God is actually finds time and comes in business. That's David. David is 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 is, is, is enjoying the revelation, he's smiling these things, and he's blown away. Then uh Jeremiah says, Thou art mighty and terrible. Mm. Mm. So to Jeremiah, God is the God of violence. So so when you mess up Jeremiah, Jeremiah knows that if you if something happens, I I know the God I serve mm. is a mighty and terrible one. Yeah. Yeah. What he can do is devastating. Mm. So to Jeremiah, God is a, a, a mighty and terrible one. Mm. Well, if you mess up Jeremiah, you're finished. <laughs> as soon as you touch Jeremiah, you don't wonder. Just know that you're done. it's done. <laughs> if you shove some guy and kick him and say, Why don't mess up with me? I, I, I'm bigger than you, you know that. Mm. Then you go to the then someone says, oh, How are you doing? That's Jeremiah, the prophet. Know that I don't have to worry anymore. You're gone. <laughs> Arrange your affairs. Yeah. Yeah. Sell your shares, give away to charity, give to your children, teach them business now. Know that you're one. Because Jeremiah knows him as a mighty and terrible one. Mm-hmm. But God, but David says, Who is the man that thou visitors him? Visitors him. Mm-hmm. And you understand? So when you read the Bible, you are getting the perspective of the person. So that's why it's very easy to misinterpret Paul and more move around saying the wrong things. Why? Because you have not understood the gospel according to Paul. So you mess up his revelation because you don't know what he's saying. Mm. So I just say, Paul is saying this, I move around saying, now just imagine, you know, that's the, that's a very dangerous thing to go into into a biblical space. Mm. Especially with people who know, yeah, well, if you come here. <laughs> if you have debates, just come here. I think we have to take this part and just put it out there. Okay. And if you have something you think you know better, come and let's debate. It's very dangerous to go into this debate. Mm. Because it's Christianity now, no one is controlling the things. It's, it's only God and the Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. You know, you can get information, you're ugly, 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 like, ah, I know this better, this is the truth, this is the truth. Mm-hmm. Then someone gives you information, like, ah, I don't want to believe that, that's not what I believe. And the Holy Ghost says, that's the one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's very dangerous, because you no know one's controlling the thing. Mm-hmm. God is like, I'm, I'm the one who's, who's oh, yeah, the way here. Mm-hmm. So once they want to uh, give it the reward, like, oh, in it, it, a few seconds, look and say, oh, now the person is getting it. Yeah. You can try and argue, but you can, there's some point where like, hmm. <laughs> I, I, I see what's happening. Yeah. I see what's happening. Mm. So, when I'm dealing with the concept of life, mm. there are many things. We said there's a difference between existing and life. Mm. So, existing is when you're just moving around. Mm. Everyone exists. Mm. Not just when you are power. And but when dealing with existence, existence is uh, existing towards death without life. Mm. Because life is Jesus. Yeah. Death is an entity. Mm. So when you are sick, you are in gradual percipient death. Mm. When you move around that you in Christ, you are in death. Mm. That's the realm you're operating in. Mm. That's why you can see that anyone who does not believe in Christ, there's something. There's something, there's just something. Mm. There's something you need to fix. Mm. Where well, a Christian only has to receive Christ in any day mm. and loves the things of death. Mm. There's something about death mm. that they are on. Mm. So, uh, so now life is not just life you receive mm. or something that you are, you are changing. Mm. You are. But life is Jesus. So the, the name, so his name is, uh, let's go to Isaiah 9 and I conclude Isaiah 9 and I am concluding. My book begins so fast. Le Isaiah 9 and I am concluding. Isaiah 9 verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. These are his names. Mm. So he's also called life. Mm. I, I, I retract my statement. Because there's another person let me give you. Because I, I said uh, I'm not closing. 
So I'll quickly give you one bit. Let's go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, first uh, John 1 verse 4. And it says, John 1 verse 3 now it, All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in the dark, in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from John, sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of that light. Oh. Mm -hmm. it says, and in him was life, and the life was the light of men. Mm -hmm. In him was life, and the life was, was the light. Mm -hmm. So in him was life, and the life was light. Mm -hmm. It says, he bear witness of that light. Meaning the life and the light is the same thing. Mm -hmm. So it is in one in, in itself, but it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. So he is the life, mm -hmm. the, the life. Mm -hmm. So Christ is life. So when you say someone has to receive life, you have to say receive life in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Receive power in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So the life is Jesus himself working in you. Mm -hmm. So that's the concept of the truth, uh, the concept of life, part two. And I think we're going to talk about part three, but that's for another time. Another time, another time. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be talking about something else different. And uh, just raise your hand. Paul was a kid to my shoulder at this or grand days. Rita Babaiga, so she'll take his attire. Ratatagi, proctorly, Sabrisho, Zija Tabaigo, or Sabirus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare and declare life to every dead situation. Father, a resurrection in every situation. Father, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, anything that was said. That is in contrary with the word. Father, we fix it away, Father. We resolve it. Mm -hmm. Father, we handle every problem by the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. And say by the prophetic action, Pa goes the the ears of Russian eyes. Rita Katae, Prakito Ruta and Shakrina answers. Father, anyone who partners with us of eight father. May they be increased away, Father. Father, anyone shall go the eight and source. In need of life of my father, may they receive life. Anyone with questions of my father, upon their heart of my father. Any hindrance for salvation. Father, may they receive salvation of my Father. Mm. May your spirit, Father, move them, Almighty Father, mm. to get to another level, Almighty Father, where they understand that you are the life, mm. and with you they cannot die. Mm. They cannot, they have life, an upspringing life mm. from their spirits. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. I declare and declare, Almighty Father. Mm. In the education of my Father, there's a difference, Almighty Father. Mm. May they difference be seen in their education, in their business, in their money, in their families, in their associations, even in their spirits and in their bodies. Father, may there be a difference. Father, for you are the life, mm -hmm. and we have life. For we don't live in the realm of death, but we live in the realm of life. Mm -hmm. For you are the life, and you are the light of men of my Father. For we have the light in us. For we have the infant treasure within the Holy Ghost. Parusa Krena Jesus. Jesus Adigo Paraduza Kepala. Soja Nikrani Prusa Kisses. Parizo Shokra in the houses. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus. I bless your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Paru Gitakis. Rapa Yusu Ojadir Sat. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you, thank you. We're not out of good news, we're just out of time. We believe in good news because we believe in God. Stay connected to remain protected. Now remember, life is Christ and existence is those who don't have life and those who don't have Christ. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for joining and may you be blessed and may you go to another level and in the name of Jesus, Amen. Mm -hmm. Stay here. Yeah.